guys, welcome back to my channel. This video today is probably gonna get me a lot of unsubscribes, but I've been wanting to do this video for a really long time. I am so beyond tired of people who do not understand science using it as a way to say that being gay is not natural and that LGBT doesn't exist in the wild or in nature. Because there are tons of gay animals and the only species that finds this to be an issue is humans. So let's stop letting people who don't understand biology tell us what is and isn't natural. And if you're still with me, be sure to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for more content. Animals have been observed across species showing homosexual behavior, and this is including insects to birds and, of course, mammals. Same-sex relationships are common in certain species, such as several different species of monkeys and apes. Penguins are famous for having one partner for life, and there are many documented same-sex couples, both in captivity and in the wild. Other species in which it's common include dolphins, lions, giraffes, and elephants. Conservatively, it has been argued that being gay is not natural and that intimacy is used only for reproductive purposes. However, that is not true. Studies show that bonobo, an African ape, engages in nearly 75% of non-reproductive activities. And while many people will argue that homosexuality can't exist in nature because then those animals would go extinct, the truth is actually the exact opposite. Gay animals and same-sex couples often raise babies that have been abandoned or orphaned. And here are some of my favorite same-sex couples. This year, Elmer and Lima, two male penguins at a zoo in New York, hatched their first baby. Penguins are probably the most well-known animal for having same-sex relationships because there are so many gay couples raising babies in zoos. But it doesn't just happen in zoos. This behavior has been documented in the wild since 1911. Same-sex couples will often steal eggs from other penguins and try to hatch them. With Elmer and Lima, the zoo actually evaluates which penguins will be successful in hatching eggs before giving them a fertilized egg. Elmer and Lima passed, and after being given an egg, they are successfully raising their chick. Carlos and Fernando are two flamingos at a bird sanctuary in the UK, where many other flamingos have been raising chicks. They kept trying to steal eggs to start their own family, but were not successful. So when another pair abandoned their newly hatched chick, Carlos and Fernando were the perfect choice for adopting the new chick. And right away, they bonded with the chick and took great care of it. And what makes them even more exceptional is that flamingos usually find a new partner every breeding season, but they've been staying together for years. Now let's talk about biology. Let's face it, in the US, many young people are not being taught science. And when they are, it's so simplified that it's almost wrong because a lot of people don't know the difference between gender and sex. While gender is a complex social structure, even sex is not a black and white issue. And things like transsexuality and non-binary are, again, issues in society with people, but in nature, they are normal occurrences. As of now, there are over 500 species of fish that have been identified as able to change their sex. There are so many examples. One of my favorite is the blue-headed wrasse, in which only the male has a blue head. But if there is no male, a female will change, not just color, but also to being a reproducing male. Bearded dragons have three sexes in their species, which include males, females, and a sex-reverse female that can reproduce but is genetically male. This sex reverse happens in the egg and is found both in the wild and in captivity. Link below for the research paper on it. And recently, female lions have been observed not conforming to gender roles we typically think when it comes to lions. There are five female lions being researched in the wild that look distinctly like male lions. It's believed that they have high levels of testosterone and may be infertile. No one knows exactly why they look and act like males, but it could potentially have benefits to their pride. Changing gender roles and taking on behavior of the opposite sex is really common in animal species and maybe for a number of different reasons, including gaining an advantage and reduced competition, better access to territory, and improved mating opportunities. Here's one that many people are familiar with, chickens. When you're raising hens without a rooster, 
which is very common now in urban areas. Oftentimes, one hen will start changing to take on the role of the rooster, which includes not laying eggs and crowing. Roosters play a big role in flocks that's much more than just reproducing, and the hen takes on the, those important roles in the absence of a rooster, which is arguably a gender change and not a sex change. Sex is an incredibly complex topic in biology, and for anyone who thinks that it's a black and white issue, I invite you to do more research. And you can start with the evolutionary reproductive features of the spotted hyena, or geandromorphs in birds. If nature has taught us anything, it's that it's a really weird world out there and there's still so much for us to learn. The natural world does not support religious ideology that tries to shape the structure of our society. So tell people that if they're gonna be hateful, they cannot use science to try to justify it. Happy Pride Month, guys. Be sure to follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I don't get to post a lot here on YouTube, but I am active almost daily over on Instagram. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.